Okay, now we discuss about the differences between CO2 and SO2. So, why we are discussing separately to the dioxides of carbon and silicon? So, whereas here the properties of carbon dioxide and SiO2 are the maximum different, maximum they are opposite characters. But uh, why you are discussing means uh, here the carbon dioxide this is silicon dioxide whereas carbon and silicon both are belongs to 14th group. So both belongs to 14th group and both are having zethyl configuration and is to NP2 having 4 valency having 4 valency electrons even they belong to same group in the periodic table same valency configuration same number of valency electrons they are showing different properties why so we see the main what is the difference the difference is CO2 generally present in the gases form so whereas this SAO2 present in, its, in solid form okay it is a perfect, it is known as generally, it is known as covalent crystalline solid. So, very important uh, covalent solid. Generally, in covalent compounds, uh, very few crystals are there. That is a diamond, graphite, boron nitride, aluminum nitride, very few crystals are there. But one of the crystals is a uh, crystal solid, is a uh, SiO2. Okay. So this is a gaseous form, this is a solid form. So why this gaseous form, why it is solid form means uh, in CO2, so we know the CO2 structure, so it is like this. Means uh, the many of CO2s are like this, uh, the CO2, uh, many of CO2 are like this, with linear structures, but there is a weak van der Waal attractions are present in them. That means, uh, so in the, the C double bond O, double bond O, means uh, these bonds are very strong, these bonds are very strong, but uh, means it is uh, up to individual character. This CO2 is stable, this CO2 is stable, this CO2 is stable, but uh, the bond present between the two different carbon dioxides, there is uh, no perfect attraction charge, means uh, that is known as uh, due to the it is gas because uh, due to the weak intermolecular attractions due to the weak intermolecular attractions uh, it is in the form of a gas whereas the SiO2 SiO2 is having it's it is having it is a giant molecule. The giant molecule nothing but is known as say polymeric molecule. So that's why it is in solid form. So how its structure takes means sir. Uh, if you see this uh, SiO2 structure. So it's polymeric means sir, the many number of giant molecule means sir, so many number of such molecules are connected together. So see this. Uh, Okay, this is uh, just one of the uh, unit, one of the units of a uh, SiO2 structure. So, like this, uh, many SiO2s are combined together. Say, uh, what is this? Is one SiO2? This is one SiO2. So, like this, uh, many SiO2s are connected together. So, uh, forming a giant polymeric structure to it. That's why it is in the solid form. Okay. So this is the main difference between the CO2 and SO2, the CO, SiO2, sorry, CO2 is a gaseous form, SiO2 is a solid form. So due to the difference in their structures, it is a single molecule structures, it is having a giant molecular structure, okay.